Just want to get out. Have you got energy now? Uh, no, that's mummy. But yours is dad. Yeah. Daddy, show you another day now. All right, things are happening now. I think they're going to reposition by the war memorial. We're just sitting and gathering down here now. Huh? The procession hasn't yet left the church.
Down in the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to join with me in saying the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I 
Got the press of a fur this year, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> I would have thought they would have waited till 11 o'clock. Yeah, I thought, is my watch wrong? No, my watch is not wrong either. <laughs> no, that's I'm right. surprised at that. Yeah, perhaps their watch is wrong. <laughs> yeah. it well, I suppose, otherwise you're just waiting. Um, yeah. You just... Uh, Never mind, it was effective, it wasn't it? No. <laughs> Certainly ran out of order of service in church. I bet you did. Oh. I know we sent church so full. Great. Well, Jane did an extra 200 yesterday. Right. They're uh, all we gone. Still, we still didn't have enough. So, how many do you think in total would have been in there then? Oh, 400, I reckon. Mm. I didn't hear it. Yeah, it was a big um, funeral on the West Somerset Railway yesterday, and there were, was there? And there were um, 200 people there. Gosh. One of the big well known signalmen died. Oh. But they had extra chairs down beside the pews Hello. and stood up outside. In much worse weather than this. <laughs> yes, yes, it was horrendous weather yesterday. Yeah. Right, well, there you know, that's memorable. Is the church all closed up now? Or? No, no, no. No, no, because you can go in and see the, um, the, the silhouetted ones, the see-through ones. Oh, yeah. You want to go in and get them now before people go in and move them. It's There's not... a whole row of them on the front seat. Oh, that, that was a wire netting kind of thing, is it? No, no, they're... They're... Uh, what have we got? Where are they? There. Oh, you won't see it, you won't see it. No. You can just see the outline of it. Hmm. They're see-through. Yeah? The poppies. Well, then it's just the man. All oh, right, yeah, You yeah. see the man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to take a picture of something <laughs> see-through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the invisible man, yeah. 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 Well, well, you can see them there now a bit better. Yeah. I thought it was 12 o'clock that they were doing the poppy at, um, at the council offices. Oh, I don't know. No, I hadn't heard about that side of things at all. Well, yes, yeah, so I heard about the poppy. You need to get there with your camera. Oh, yeah, isn't it? They've acquired, oh, really? a, they've acquired a, a ceramic poppy. Mm. Right, a big one? From the Tower well, of London. Well, the ones that were in the Tower of London. Yeah. And yeah, probably be about a foot across, were they? No, no. No, they're, they're, oh, right. they're these ones that were stood in the ground, aren't they? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that big, I think. Well, go and see what else is to be seen, man. Yes. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> okay. Here are these Perspex <laughs> silhouettes of them. Um, are they soldiers? Yes. I've not come across them before anywhere. Where did the one outside come from anyway? Because that's not um, certain, not certain where that came from. No. That's where radio comes in better, really, if you can <laughs> get the light on it. Bang on it, look at that. Just confirming it's 11 o'clock now. It's quite a church now than it was an hour ago. Apparently all these seats were full up here. Yeah. 
That's okay. Carry on. <laughs> Somebody important is on his way, I'm not sure who it is. Do we know who this important person is that's going to help John? Um, they did tell me, um, worshipful, worshipful something. I don't know. It's just gentlemen going to open it with John Harrison. Yes. Just turned up. <laughs> I'm the town crier. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I can welcome you all here today, you may well know I'm John Irvin, Mayor of Watcher. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here today. Particularly thank Vincent to uh, continue officiating for us on what we hope will be quite a memorable ceremony. Um, but I'd also like to introduce the ceremony, the ceremony by asking Mr. Chris Crump to introduce why we're all here today. So over to you, Chris. Councillor John, Deacon Vincent, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for coming here. As you heard the Dean say, in the ceremony in the church, Watch It is famous for its community spirit. We in the Freemasons Lodge, which is just up the road, have been here since 1923 and feel very much a part of this community. We wanted to do something to <coughs> commemorate the end of 100 years after the end of the war um, and to give something back to the town of Watchet. And the idea came to us, and we've had a lot of time in preparation, to actually have one of the ceramic poppies that were at the Tower of London four years ago framed and presented to the town of Watchet. Uh, we hope that it will be here to be something that today's generation and future generations can look at in quiet contemplation and enjoy their visit to watch it. So on that basis, I hand back to you. It's a great pleasure for us to be here today for this event. Okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, can I firstly say I felt it was a great honour to accept this on behalf of all the people who watch it. It also made me very humble because it's in memory of all those who gave their lives in all the conflicts uh, that we're actually all able to be here today. So it was a combination of those two things, I think. As Chris said, it's one of the poppies that formed part of the blood, sweat, lands and seas of red that were exhibited in the Tower of London in 2014. Now that exhibition was specifically set up to commemorate the centenary of the start of the First World War. <coughs> So it's particularly poignant that today, the 11th day of the 11th month, and we're just at the 11th hour, uh, held our remembrance service because it's the centenary of the end of that war. So the full circle, and I think the poignancy of this particular gift, 
is very well recognised and appreciated. Um, I therefore really like to thank the Lodge for the gift of this copy uh, to all the people who watch it with the hope that it will help all generations recognise and remember the sacrifice that everybody gave in those conflicts to allow us to be here today. It'll be a memory of the special centenary, but mainly a memory of those who gave their lives. So what I'm now going to do without further prevarication, I'm going to ask uh, Deacon Vincent Woods to assist me in unveiling the copy formally, and then he may want to say a word or two as we do it. So if we can do that, Vincent, we declare it unveiled. I was waiting for you, John, to say, and I now declare the bar open. <laughs> but I do believe it is down at the Legion Club. So. Just now I say thank you to you and to Francis, so we have both the, the male and female lodges of Freemasonry represented here. Thank you so much for this generous donation. It's uh, much appreciated by the people who watch it. And we pray that the work of the Freemasons throughout the country will continue. I know from my experience of having a son who works immensely hard with the St. John Ambulance organisation, how much they owe to the Freemasons by way of ambulances without which they can't function. So you know, we appreciate the work that you do. And we pray that it will continue to be blessed for the future. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Johnny happy? Very sure. Yeah. No bell. Not yet. That's lovely. Thank you very much indeed.